Welcome to Northern Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing some compounds, formulae and equations exam questions. Feel free to go ahead and answer the questions and then go through the answers. I'll put the link in the description. Zinc carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid. A student reacts a sample of zinc carbonate with an excess of dilute hydrochloric acid in a test tube. Describe what the student would see during this reaction. So when you react a carbonate with an acid, it forms bubbles. This is also known as effervescence. As CO2 gas is formed, write the equation for the reaction between zinc carbonate and dilute hydrochloric acid. So when a carbonate and an acid react, they form a salt, which is the product of a reaction in which H plus ions are replaced by metal or ammonium ions. They form CO2 gas and they also form water, which is obviously a liquid. So the salt is going to be zinc chloride because the zinc ions are going to replace the H plus ions and then we're going to form CO2 gas and water. Compounds of calcium have many uses. Identify a compound of calcium that could be used to convert a soil pH from 5.8 to 7.5. So when we want to neutralize acidic soils we use calcium hydroxide which has the formula CaOH2. Make sure to check out my video on group 2 metals in the top right hand corner to help you revise this topic. Calcium phosphide Ca3P2 is an ionic compound used in rat poison. Calcium phosphide can be prepared by reacting calcium metal with phosphorus P4. Write the equation for the reaction of calcium with phosphorus to form calcium phosphide. So the key bit of information here is that phosphorus has molecules of P4 so we need to remember that in our equation. So we're going to form calcium phosphide and then to balance we need two molecules of calcium phosphide and that means we need six calcium. Draw a dot and cross diagram to show the bonding in calcium phosphide, Ca3P2. Show outer electrons only. So it's an ionic compound, so we're just going to have a Ca2 plus arm with an empty outer shell, so we don't need to draw any shells for calcium. And we have three of those ions. For phosphorus we have gained three electrons from the calcium, forming two three minus ions. Gallium, atomic number 31, is in period 4 of the periodic table. Gallium is a group 3 element. Predict the formula of a gallium ion. If it's in group 3, then that means that it's got 3 outer shell electrons, which it can lose. So, a gallium ion is going to have the formula Ga3+. This question is about compounds of group 3 elements. Aluminium will combine directly with fluorine. Write the equation for the reaction between aluminium and fluorine. So the first thing we want to do is identify the formula of aluminium fluoride, which is going to be the product formed. And we know that aluminium, as it's in group 3, forms Al3 plus ions, and fluorine forms F minus ions. So that means that we need 3 F minus ions to cancel out the 3 plus charge on the Al, so it's AlF3. And remember that fluorine is diatomic. And then to balance, we can put 1.5 in front of that fluorine to make three fluorine on each side. Make sure to put the one and a half rather than the 1.5 because it's easier to see on the scans of the exam papers. A molecule of an alkane has 24 carbon atoms. State the empirical formula of this alkane. So if we've got 24 carbon atoms and it's an alkane, we need to remember the general formula of an alkane, which is CnH2n plus two. So two times 24 plus two is 50. Question 5. A salt used as a fertilizer has the empirical formula H4N2O3. Suggest the formula of the ions present in this salt. So the definition of a salt is a product of a reaction in which H plus ions are replaced by ammonium or metal ions. So in this salt we're going to have ammonium ions and it's going to be formed from nitric acid so we're going to have NO3- ions as well. So ammonium ions are NH4 plus and nitrate ions are NO3- minus. and that combines to give the empirical formula and it balances on charge as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my atomic structure and isotopes exam questions walkthrough, which will be in the bottom right hand corner now. You can also check out my website to purchase my notes and flashcards. The link will be in the description below.